Here's a question I received a little while ago, and it's a good one. How do you figure the length of a stair stringer? So there are a lot of videos out there providing you with information, including a lot of mine, on how to build a set of stairs. But how in the heck do you figure out the length of the stair stringer so you can go down and actually purchase the wood? The first thing you're going to need to do is figure out the tread run and the rise, the total height and the total width of the stairs. And then it is uh, the simple Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And what that means is that you will multiply the uh, tread run, that would be A, let's say, um, the rise would be the B, and the hypotenuse or the length of the stringer, the hypotenuse of the triangle, or the length of the stringer would be uh, C squared. Now I made a video on that for those of you who don't understand what I'm actually talking about there. Um, you can uh, go see the video. I'm going to try and put the link in uh, right around here somewhere so that you can go check it out. That way I don't got to make two videos on it. But it is quite simple. It really isn't that difficult to uh, do this. Now this works in uh, practically everything as long as it's a right angle. It has to be a 90 degree angle for, the, for this uh, theorem to work. And uh, you can put it and uh, use it for all different parts of the home, roof rafters, uh, stuff like that. Now, if you watch the other video, you're going to get a little more information on that, I think, for roof rafters also. And this should give you a better idea of what you're talking, what we're talking about. The measurement or the overall length of the, of the triangle would be the top measurement on this piece of wood. And I just kind of pretended like I had a 2 by 12 in here. And if I move it, you can actually see where it will give you enough wood to cut the stair stringer. So I think you're going to be better off going with the total overall run and the total overall rise instead of um, going to the top of the stair stringer. But I'm going to leave that up to you. And for those of you who do not know what a square root symbol looks like, there it is. It should be on your calculator. Again, all you need to do is multiply the number twice. If the base is 40 inches, multiply 40 times 40. If the overall height is 30 inches, um, you'll multiply 30 inches by 30 inches, and you're gonna add the sum of those two numbers together and then what you get on your calculator, simply push the square root symbol and it will give you the length in inches um, of what you need. Now, if you do it in feet, that's fine. If you're going to take um, 40 inches, let's say, um, just, just figure out what that would be in feet and use the decimals to figure it out.